This is a hot plate. It has both a heating function and a stir function. The most common mistake I see is people not paying attention to where this power cord is. So right now this is off and cool, but it is entirely possible to have this cord in a bad location such that it's likely to get burnt. Do not do that. So plug it in and look at where your cord is. This is a beaker of water. Let's say I want to heat it and stir it. One knob controls the heat. A lot of hot plates don't have a temperature reading, and if they do, think of it as an estimate. I want to boil this water, so I'm putting the knob at about the halfway point. This also has a stir function. If the only thing I do is turn on stir, nothing happens. I need a magnet. This is a magnetic stir bar. I want to put this inside of my sample and then turn on the stir function. There's a magnet inside of the hot plate that actually spins when I turn on the spin function. In order for this to work effectively, I need to make sure that my piece of glassware is centered because the stir function is going to occur right in the center. Be careful because it is very easy to accidentally burn yourself. A cold hot plate looks exactly like a hot hot plate. So once it's on, do not touch the surface of it anywhere. Once I'm all done using this, I need to remove my magnetic stir bar. I need to turn off the heat, turn off the stir function. So this is a magnetic stir bar retriever. Use the magnetic end to pick up the stir bar and remove it from the container. And unplug it. Remember that this is still hot, so leave it out to cool before tucking it away somewhere.